it. So we made it to one of our favorite coffee shops, Hidden House. Let's go get them ice mocha. Yeah, two ice mochas. Do you milk. like their pastries? Here? Yeah, if we get one almond, almond uh, croissant. croissant. Yeah, one almond croissant. Can I warm it up or? Uh, warm it up, please. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Anything else for you guys? That's it. Their almond croissant honestly hits the spot every time. Probably one of my favorite croissants at a coffee shop. Usually when we go to a coffee shop, we either get stale croissants or old croissants, but this is like fresh. You can see them even making it in the back. It's just a delightful delicacy. <laughs> Kidding. Their iced mocha is honestly so good too. And one great thing about their coffee is that they roast them here. They roast their coffee in-house, which is pretty cool because not a lot of places do that, so. So we just made it to paragliding and apparently there's a wait list but you can't really sign up on the wait list until you get here and pay for it and then you get on the wait list so we're just gonna get on the wait list it could take about 30 minutes 45 minutes or even an hour so let's find out how long it's gonna take because i'm excited it looks cool they're flying over the ocean guys I choose to participate in the sport of hang gliding, uh, paragliding with the understanding that it is an inherently dangerous sport which may result in bodily harm, paralysis, paralysis or even death. Cool guys, and today is... Oh, just finished signing the waiver. That was a long waiver. Kim's like, how many things do we have to sign? Well, I guess they just don't want to be liable for anything, right? Waiver, then an actual official paperwork one, then they record us saying that. Yeah, we have to sign an e-waiver, then they record us saying the waiver, then they make us sign another waiver. <laughs> but I get why they're doing that. They just don't want to get sued. This could be a pretty dangerous sport. So we're just going to chill out here and wait for uh, our friends to pull up. Damn, it's 2.24 already. It's been a minute. with my paragliding. Felt kind of sick, kind of motion sickness. It's like being on a plane, but worse. I get sick on a plane, so I felt a little nauseous. We just made it to a vintage eyewear store here in downtown San Diego. I still feel nauseous from that uh, paragliding though. I'm gonna wear a hat too. My hair is all messed up. All right, let's check out this store. here no these are more my style sunglasses <laughs> all right so Kim got these I didn't get any glasses but Kim got these glasses they're vintage St. Laurent's right yes and we just got them made with her custom lens so we just made it to the jet skiing place. We're, we're like quick, quick to all these locations today. We're in a rush rush, but um, Kim is getting on the jet ski. I'm not because I still feel nauseous from uh, the paragliding. So uh, Kim is just going to do uh, her jet skiing. But I need to eat something real quick and I got to pee. So yeah, this place is nice. Damn. Yeah, it's pretty dope. That's a jet ski over there. That's probably one. to our last destination for today we're eating korean barbecue it's 8 45 camera's not catching my phone but it's 8 45 right now we're starving we haven't eaten anything all day except that slice that i had but let's go eat right now because i am starving <laughs>
So guys, I'm finished at the gym. I normally do shower before I film a mukbang, but because the weather's gonna get super hot right now, what time is it right now? It's 11. It's 11.27 right now. So yeah, it's gonna get really hot today. It says 80 degrees, sunny, high of 86. I'm going to be filming my car. I'm going to a burger place called For The Win. So I have to go film that. I'm just waiting for my batteries to charge right now and then we'll head out. I had such a great workout today. I didn't really talk. I didn't really say anything before my workout. I just went in. I honestly was not gonna film today, but I'm like, let me just pull out the vlog. So what I did for my workout today was back. I didn't really go heavy on my back. I just went really light and just focused really hard on my muscle part. So I just did a bunch of cables just so I could have mind to muscle connection, which means that you have to focus on that body part when you're training that body part. So for example, if I'm doing biceps, you have to mentally like think about your biceps. Like you have to think of how your biceps are contracting when you're working out. My back feels great, it felt pumped, and now it's really sore. And I didn't even go heavy and sore, so. Finally just made it. That was a pretty good drive. It wasn't too long. It was about 30 minutes. I'm so lucky I didn't have to go deep into LA because traffic in LA is so crazy. And then coming back, it's not just going to LA, it's going back home in traffic, which is like crazy. Can I get one of that? Can I also get one flan donut? Gotcha. And that's it. No problem. Time to do some cardio. I'm excited. I'm going to do like a 30 minute spin session and I'm not gonna go too intense on the cardio though because I just wanna kinda get my blood flowing and just lose some calories. I don't have to lose too much calories because I'm not too overweight, but I also don't wanna gain too much weight either. So there's like a sweet spot for cardio and I think I figured that out with my body. It's like average intensity for 30 minutes and I should be good to go. kind of looks gross. It's not the color that you'd probably expect out of a berry shake, but because I mix spinach and kale in here, that's why the color is a little bit dark. I added spinach and kale to this because I'm supposed to be drinking spinach and kale after my mukbangs, but because I don't want to drink two shakes, I mixed the spinach and kale with the berry shake. So I'm getting my antioxidants from my berries and I'm getting my greens from my spinach and kale. This is going to be a little bit higher on calories because there's so many fruits in here and coconut water also does have calories, but it's a healthy shake. Honestly, when you put spinach and kale in here, you won't taste it. It tastes so good. The one great thing about this is I added Greek yogurt. The Greek yogurt will balance out the sourness from the berries. Trust me, it works. All right, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys learned something or didn't learn something, I hope you guys were entertained at least. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Peace.